Hey baby, I can't wait to show you my new Sony Entertainment System. I can't wait to watch Popcorn ever since they re-released it. Um, is that what we're watching over? <laughs> Not that thing. <laughs> we're gonna watch it on that, right there on the floor. But I thought we were watching the new Blu-ray edition. <laughs> Blu-ray? What's that? We're gonna watch it on video eight. Hey, here we are. <laughs> like Lloyd Kaufman yeah, right. in that video. Oh God. <laughs> All right, so here we go. All right. Hey guys, Henry Frias Leon here. And I'm Ian Ogden. And right now we just want to talk about a really cool device that uh, obviously Ian owns. <laughs> uh, Ian, do you want to tell us about this new little device? Well, this here, this is a Sony 8mm VCR. It's a portable version and it actually has a, like a camcorder type battery. And this, they made these from about 1987 until, what, like early 2000s because people like business types would need them for viewing their instructional videos or maybe if you were a businessman going on a plane flight and you didn't want to watch the in-flight movie, you wanted to watch your own movie, um, you could actually buy one of these things and it had like a, the early ones had 2.7 inch displays, this one has a 4 inch display. Um, they really weren't that popular, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, I, did, I didn't even hear about these. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, nobody knew about them. Um, but it is really funny to think that they actually had videos. They made these videos, and there were about 1,400 videos for this thing that they actually made. Um, only about 250 of them were, like, feature film movies, like that you would see in a theater. And there were actually, I think, about 100 stores in the U.S. of A., that actually rented them, so you could rent them, which is rent weird. Rent the movies? Yeah, you could rent these for, for your little... Look at, you know. look at this, alright? Look at the size of this fucking thing. Yeah. This is insane, alright? This is kind of funny to me. Yeah. Uh, what was it, like a, like about last year you showed me this device, Yeah. and I fucking freaked, because I'm a... <laughs> as, as people who know me, I'm a big enthusiast on VHS tapes, yeah. and I collect a lot of obscure VHS movies. And when I saw this, <laughs> I couldn't even believe this, yeah. you know? But the thing that blew my mind, too, after he showed me this device, I went on <clears throat> eBay to try and see uh, if I could find any of these tapes. And <laughs> I, I found this on eBay, which Ian purchased. Yeah. It's popcorn. Bucks. It's 10 bucks or something. 10 bucks yeah. for, this, for this sealed <laughs> popcorn tape. This awesome, obscure, <laughs> like... 90s slasher film very insane very cool though it's it's very interesting that stuff like this came out i didn't know i didn't know about this yeah. this is really insane you know what the, the funniest thing though is that these videos are what like over i don't even know how long this is like an hour and a half or something i don't know and these things originally only had about like 45 minutes to an hour of battery life so you could get about halfway through your movie, and then nope, no more. So it's kind of funny. That's pretty sad. Yeah, it was. That's really weird. So only 45 minutes to an hour? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they sold bigger batteries, like, you know, because it used camcorder batteries, so they were larger ones, but, um, yeah, that was pretty skimpy, you know? Now, what I did hear about this, because, again, I, I haven't really fully watched the movie on this, um, <laughs> you can connect this to the TV, yeah. right, and watch it on the bigger screen. Kind of funny. Um, now you're probably wondering if there's a difference between the VHS quality and these tapes. From what I what I read and I have heard from other people, there's not really much of a difference. The only difference is is the audio quality. Really? I heard it was just a, a slightly better than the VHS. Tape. Oh, it better. Hey. Yeah, yeah it's so, slightly better. So buy all your stuff on eight millimeter. Wow. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> um, the thing is, is it worth collecting these? That's, that's the thing. Again, I just got introduced pretty much to this and just, you know, uh, I looked up some movie listings that, came, that was released for this. Yeah. You know, movies like Rocky, Terminator 2, you know, but there wasn't anything crazy, crazy obscure, yeah. you know. The, the most obscure was 
this. Yeah. You know, it was popcorn, which was really neat. Um, I know there was, I think, don't quote me on this, I just, from what I, what I looked up, there are some movies that weren't released out here, but yeah. they were released in Japan. Yeah. Uh, like, they have Bullet. Oh, And that's wow. pretty rare. That's huh. pretty rare. Um, the box cover for that is pretty neat. But, I mean, it's Bullet. You know yeah. what I mean? It's nothing like, you should, like, I think it's, like, about, from what I remember seeing, it was, like, 70 to 100 bucks. Oh, wow. For a Japanese copy. Yeah. And I don't think, <laughs> I mean, if unless you're, like, a major big collector on these kind of things, I don't yeah. I don't think it's worth going out spending a hundred bucks. Yeah. Like that. Um, yeah. I mean, with with Blu-ray and like DVD and now like streaming, I mean the the collector's value is really just a novelty. It's the fact that like this is something that nobody's gonna know is there. But you you know if you show up to a party with like a tiny video that's a legit like release, you know, it's just kind of like whoa, that's crazy. It's a conversation piece. It is definitely a conversation, know? especially this. You just bring this in your pocket. You make a joke with your horror friends, you yeah. know, like, hey, I got popcorn. It's like, awesome. <laughs> and then they probably expect, like, in the beginning of our skit in yeah, this, yeah. you know, maybe the new Blu-ray they got released. You know, you just take this fucker out. Yeah. You know, if you're like, what is this? <laughs> you know, actually, one of our other friends, Daniel, yeah. coincidentally, before we started this video, on Facebook, he posted that yeah. he was watching popcorn on VHS. And I took a picture of that thing and posted I commented yeah. it yeah. on it. It's yeah. pretty funny. Um... <laughs> But yeah, so it's really it's really neat. It's very interesting. Right now, we got Coneheads playing yeah. in the background. Not sure if you can get that, but you will show closer <clears throat> look at that. Um, but yeah, again, this is sealed. Mm -hmm. And what we like the most is breaking the seal yeah. on yeah. shit like this. Yeah. So let's get started on that. All right, so here we go. Ian and I will tear this fucker apart, but just the seal. So. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully this, you, I feel really, really weird tearing something like this apart. Well, it's eight millimeter, you know, it's, an, it's a kind of an interesting novelty item. Here yeah. we go. I feel like I'm violating this. Oh, so yeah. I feel so bad. Here, well, you wanna... Well, it's not like a sealed Game Boy game where it's like... Oh, you know. wow, and there it is. This is sticky. <laughs> Yeah, see, look at that. It's, well, it's static. It's static electric. That, yeah. It's very smelly. <laughs> but yeah, here we go, man. This is popcorn does on... Have, does it have the, um, the seal thing on the bottom? Oh, yeah, you're right. Some of them have this one. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, wow. I like that. Nice label. Wow. This is... It's, you know, <laughs> when I say it's pretty surreal opening a Game Boy Advance box, yeah. like, now... It's, I'm having like a little weird surreal feeling doing it with this too. Well, I always thought it was funny that these kind of tapes, they don't just have the paper cover and then the tape, they have the paper cover and a plastic case and yeah. then the tape, which the VHSs don't do, I don't care This is, why. I love, I love that. Yeah, because the back really, label. Ah, Ooh. it's really nice. Oh yeah. It's really neat. So that was a look at the 8mm tapes and the portable player. Uh, is there anything else you want to add? Oh, one more thing. So, with this model, with the Sony GVA500, you could actually attach a TV tuner module if you really wanted to. Not that it would work anymore. No. <laughs> but, you know, you could. You know, right. Mm. That's really cool. And again, thanks for supporting us, guys, and watching our show. Uh, again, this is the, pretty much us just want to show you something really neat that we both really like and of course uh, since I'm a big horror fan I want to, we need to show this off this is really cool uh, but yeah we'll be releasing uh, we'll be working and releasing soon uh, episode 3 of Pixelated Reviews uh, we have a lot in store for you for that one um, soon uh, we'll be releasing also another episode of pretty much my show of showing rare obscure horror films kind of a fun little show that's you know apart from it but hopefully in the future merge into one mm -hmm. there are a lot of things we're bringing to you guys soon so stay tuned and if you got any requests send us a message oh yeah what was your email oh yeah we could do pixelnerd101 at gmail.com or just comment the video you know you just comment it down you know just just comment just yeah. just uh yeah. just, just lots of comments just uh just a lot Since when did you start smoking cigarettes? I didn't. I'm just going to the gun show, and I'm bringing my copy of Popcorn with me. So, 
I'm just, uh, this is one more way that you can be a badass with your 8mm films. So, uh, you know, just a suggestion just, for you. Oh, sorry, is he he's walking away?